My name is Denise Gore of JMG Booking and Management based in Sacramento, California in the United States of America. JMG Booking's aim is to provide musical artists with publicity, management, booking. Currently, we are managing and booking for UK reggae singer, songwriter and producer Lloyd Brown. In every heart there's a place for love to dwell in all of you. See, I don't wanna seem presumptuous. From your line of admirers, I stand first. I first heard about Lloyd Brown through a radio disc jockey in San Francisco, California at a Freddie McGregor concert. And he asked me if I knew of the reggae singer Lloyd Brown and I told him no, I never heard of him. And I wasn't very familiar with UK reggae artists at all, other than Maxi Priest and Seal Pulse and Pato Bonten. But um, he gave me his music, he told me to go to his website and, and told me just to listen to a couple of his tunes. And you know, I kept putting it off and he kept calling me and I said, okay. You know, Barris Hammond is one of my favorites, so, you know, I don't think I can listen to anybody better than him. And then I finally said, okay, hold on. I left the disc jockey on the phone while I went on the computer and said, okay, I'll listen to his song. And I listened to his song, and I literally ran back to the phone and told him, oh, my God, where has this guy been? Oh, my God. Now, Barris Hammond has some competition. And then from that, that point on, he said, um, would you be interested in working with him? And, and I said, well, you know, let me talk to him and let's just see what happens. And from there, um, while I was talking to the DJ on the phone, Lloyd Brown called me. And um, the rest is history. So what happened since then was I studied his music and realized that he wasn't really based in the reggae genre, that he could easily cross over into the soul and R&B scene. So our objective for the company is to broaden his fan base by bringing in the R&B market along with the reggae market. Because Lloyd Brown is based in the reggae scene, his roots we're having to start there and the path has been very difficult because of the the, um, the political aspect of bringing a, a veteran artist over into a foreign country that he hasn't been in and in introduce him as a new artist with a lot of history behind him. So that path has been very difficult as far as working with other booking agents, venues, promoters, and just basically building the fan base. The, what I'm having difficulty in is assuring the promoters that with a little time and a little effort on their part that he is going to work and he will be a success to their venue. It's unfortunate that a lot of the promoters are really concentrating on how many the numbers that are coming through the door in order to make their money, which we really don't have a problem with. But right now the reggae market is suffering from being stale and having the same artists come through time and time again, over and over in the same market with nothing nothing being introduced new. Lloyd Brown has been, been performing make, basically on the West Coast in the United States for over a year now. He started off a slow process with a local band, going through the smaller venues, building up a fan base, and now that after he's done that, we're we're going to bigger venues to build a bigger fan base. And so far, his fan base is growing. It's, it's growing where promoters are coming through as far up as Seattle, giving him an opportunity to perform in a big, big way. He just had an opportunity to be on a festival in Seattle. And um, we're just broadening his fan base. We're going to continue through with every state on the West Coast. And then we'll spread to the West 
the Midwest and then go to the South and then through the East Coast. Lloyd Brown as a person is a true artist. He has the same temperaments as any other bona fide artist. He's very motivated, he's very sensitive, and he's very artic articulate, and he's very, very, very focused. I just want to thank all the promoters that are, getting, are having faith in Lloyd Brown, that want to see this through. I talked to a promoter today, and he kept reassuring me, and he told me, don't be discouraged, just keep on doing what you're doing. Um, I just want to, those promoters that are still on the fence with him and not sure and wondering, I think they should just go ahead and give him the opportunity because they will not be let down. It took me a couple of weeks to listen to Lloyd Brown's music, but after the persistence of this radio disc jockey to listen to him, I the first song I heard, I just threw Barris Hammond to the curb. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's terrible. Cut it. No, I'm not going to say that. Don't cut that part out. Cut it!